guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new welcome today i wanted to share with you a couple of exciting hookras that i'm adding to my garden and particularly more of those caramel bronze colored hookras that i don't have in my garden so this is a completely new color scheme that i don't have in my garden i mean look at these aren't they just so gorgeous so these probably have been around for a long time um, and I just never really thought about adding these but I think these colors are going to look so so stunning with the rest of the colors in my garden I mean look at these beautiful exciting colors so the first hookra here is called hookra caramel so this has uh, as you can see many tones of caramel in it it has some green uh, the underside of the leaf is very dark a uh, kind of um, burgundy color like almost like a pink burgundy so lots of different colors on this plant and I think based on the sunlight it could it could color quite differently and this is a very um, popular variety it's been around for a long time and um, I'm just really excited to uh, to add these to my garden so this is again caramel coral bell and it is going to be um, hardy in zones four to nine and it's going to get about 12 inches tall and um, 12 inches wide as well so a good size plant not too huge but it is going to um, new growth has a lovely golden color and as it matures it will take on a peach colored tones apricot peach and the purple undertones add a nice contrast blossoms uh, are produced on wiry stems and uh, they, that happens during summer and they add to the beauty of the flowers so really excited i think the blooms would probably be creamy colored on this that's what my guess is it doesn't say on it what color the blooms would be but that's what i think they would be we'll see if they bloom this year so very excited to add this and the other one next to it is a slightly different leaf shape as you can see um, this is a pumpkin spice hookra so this one is uh, probably a hookarella that's why the leaf is a little bit different um, and this one also has those pumpkin spice kind of latte kind of colors and it keeps this color throughout the season as you can see and it also gets creamy white flowers and about um, 8 to 10 inches tall and about 20 inches wide and with the scapes it'll probably be about 20 inches similar hardiness zones uh, 4 to 9 and um, really really pretty pop of color in the garden that is caramel so I just wanted to share these two beautiful hookras that I'm adding to my garden. More than likely, they will go in the front garden. That's where I want to add these pops of color. And, um, and they will hopefully stay uh, evergreen or um, evergreen for a really long time um, in the front garden. And that's also part of the reason why I'm adding them in, in, this, in this kind of space. So I will see where I will be adding them and I'll show you once. In, in a garden tour where I add these but for now I wanted to share a quick little video and show you what these beautiful hookras were looking like I hope you can see the colors in all the Sun I'm trying to like place them where I can show you these colors um, but they are just 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 beautiful gorgeous 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 so can't wait to add them thank you so much for joining me today and i'm gonna get these plants in the ground and i'll show you where i'm placing them actually i'll show you as part of this video when i get them in the ground and i'll show you what they look like when they're in the ground and uh and then um that way you can you can see where i've placed them I'm going to show you where the hookras ended up in my garden so i put one hookra in the front garden bed this is the caramel one in the front and i love how it looks against the other two that are um, in the same bed i have a fun and games one and i also have another tiarella I, I think this is a hookarella um, combination between a hookra and a tiarella so that's i don't know the variety on that one but i think the colors play really really well and the other two ended up in my backyard and I'm going to walk over and show you where I placed those. 
other two hookras ended up, I think one of them is a hookra and one is a hookarella, which is a combination between a tiarella um, and a hookra. They ended up in my beginning of my shade garden. So um, I have a quite a big shade garden area and I have a little pathway in the middle here going into my grass and backyard area and I've kind of created a little bit of a symmetry on both sides in terms of the colors and uh, some of the plants and um, so I added a caramel hookara on this side and because the pumpkin spice hookarella is around the same colors I added it on the other side as well so if I visually look at on both sides I kind of have a similar color tone going in these beds but these beds are definitely not identical I want them to have their own personality their own identity but I kind of like to repeat some of the colors and um, and um, textures so that it kind of feels a little bit cohesive so um, I'll give you a close-up of what this pumpkin spice hookarella looks like I think it's beautiful it is I think going to be a good spot for this one I also have another tiarella beside it so I think um, these plants are gonna be happy together and low growing in the front of the bed and be super cute um, and then the caramel hookarella ended up on hookra ended up on this side and I might get a darker one and place it behind it so that both the colors play against each other but for now I like this hookra over here and I wanted to show you where I place them in my garden so if you're looking for caramel um, brown kind of bronzy foliage plants in your garden i highly recommend these two because they are really really beautiful i hope everyone is having a fabulous day wherever you're joining me from do give this video a thumbs up and let me know in comments what you think about these hookras you have them in your garden i would also love to hear from you um, so let me know what you think about these colors and with that i will catch you in my next video thank you so much for joining and do hit the subscribe button if you're new and follow my gardening channel. Thank you again.